Hey there guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here and joining in the conversation as we talk about some movie news. So recently at CinemaCon, some great new information about a G.I. Joe and Transformers crossover event movie came to light. It's been officially announced that it's in the works, which is going to be all kinds of greatness. I can't wait to see these two franchises come together. I think it's going to be really, really fun. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into this article here from comicflicknews.com. We're going to break down what's going on with that announcement of G.I. Joe and Transformers crossing over and uh, see what we can learn about this upcoming movie. So this article, Paramount announces official development of Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover movie. So confirmation of the long anticipated event finally arrives as Paramount Pictures announces the convergence of two iconic franchises on the silver screen. Following the tumultuous events of Rise of the Beasts, the robots in disguise will indeed encounter the real American heroes in an upcoming crossover film. Yeah, for those of you who saw Rise of the Beasts, the last Transformers movie, towards the end of the movie, there's a scene where one of the characters um, gets given a business card, and as he turns the business card over, it's got the G.I. Joe, um, you know, G.I. Joe name written on it. So they were kind of um, insinuating there that G.I. Joe was going to be crossing into the Transformers universe. And um, yeah, everybody kind of lost their minds a little bit. But now we are now we have the official confirmation that that crossover event movie is coming, which is great to hear. I mean, having all the kind of um, soldier action of G.I. Joe crossed over with the kind of um, science fiction fantasy of, you know, robots in disguise, having that all kind of crossover and having them team up to fight other characters. Oh man, I'm just, I'm just there for it. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So, unveiled during Paramount Pictures presentation at CinemaCon today, the studio solidifies plans for the Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover. In the aftermath of Rise of the Beasts, where our heroes triumph over uh, Scourge and the Terracons, the looming threat of Unicorn persists. Unicron, I should say, not Unicorn. <laughs> that would be a whole different movie, wouldn't it? Transformers against the Unicorn. <laughs> Unicron, not Unicorn. Uh, Noah embarks on a new chapter at a security firm. And he finds himself thrust into a clandestine world when approached by an agent Burke, portrayed by a Michael Kelly, who extends an invitation to join the G.I. Joe organization. With the declaration, we're in the middle of an ongoing war. Noah's journey takes a compelling turn. Yeah, like I said, towards the end of that Transformers Rise of the Beast movie, um, the main character, he goes in for a job interview. And the person who's interviewing him basically says, I know who you are and then passes him a business card and it has G.I. Joe written on it. And that was so cool. I remember watching that scene in the movie. Um, I was ready to head out. The movie's almost finished. And uh, G.I. Joe kind of pops up on that business card. And I'm just there like, what the hell? I'm just like, this is so cool. So Michael Kelly sheds light on his character's significance in the revealing 2023 interview with Collider. So Stephen Cable Jr. called me and he pitched to me what this was in the film, which originally was going to be a post credit scene. And then they ended up making it the last scene of the film for whatever reason. When he pitched it to me, he was like, and then there's this whole G.I. Joe world that we're not sure we have the rights to yet, but we really want to tie in the two worlds and I just think it would be a really cool idea. So when we shot that scene, we shot it with a couple of different cards that I gave him, talking about the business card that has G.I. Joe written on it. Um, the one that you see is not the only one we shot. So they shot multiple scenes with different G.I. Joe business cards that he gets handed. And the one you see in the film is one of many that was shot, which is kind of cool. So as excitement brews over the confirmed development of the Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover movie, one notable absence looms, a director. However, industry heavyweights, including Steven Spielberg, Steven Spielberg on a Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. <laughs> wow, that would be crazy. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, Michael Bay and others are set to steer the ambitious project. Michael Bay is probably going to steer clear because obviously the whole Michael Bayism um, kind of, you know, everything that surrounds Michael Bay to do with the Transformers franchise is not good. So I don't think they'll use Michael Bay. Um, well, while Paramount's track record with the Transformers franchise speaks volumes, recent G.I. Joe endeavors have seen mixed uh, results with the Snake Eyes origin film failing to meet expectations. Yeah, that movie did real bad. It made next to like no money whatsoever. Anticipating a fresh start, it's anticipated that the G.I. Joe roster will undergo another overhaul for this crossover. Are you thrilled about the potential of this cinematic mashup? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. So yeah, this is going to be super, super fun. Like having these kind of ninjas, like soldiers that are like ninjas, and then having these huge robots 
um, and then kind of fighting side by side and fighting against each, each other as well. Um, it's going to be all kinds of craziness, but I think it sounds fun. I was never a major fan of G.I. Joe. Obviously, that's more of an American thing. Here in the UK, we had a um, we had a soldier like doll. He was called Action Man. He wasn't called G.I. Joe. Uh, like I said, that's more of an American thing. So I never grew up with G.I. Joe playing G.I. Joe. We had Action Men. What well, that's what they were called. But um, I mean the G.I. Joe films they've been okay. Like it says here, they've been a bit hit and miss. They don't really make much money. But the Transformers franchise, say what you want about it, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, you can't deny it. Transformers made ridiculous amounts of money. And um. Personally, I love every single one of the films. I think they're great, and I won't apologize for it. I don't care what anyone says. Um, but yeah, you can't deny that Transformers makes a whole load of money. So um, yeah, this is going to be an exciting crossover event. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for G.I. Joe crossing over with Transformers? Do you think this movie can work? Do you think, you know, crossing the two franchises franchises over is a good idea a bad idea whatever you think put it in the comment section i can't wait to see what you have to say about this guys and as always i really do appreciate you being here it means a lot to me and i will see you in the next one